Tyler King with the Denver Gazette. Question uh, for Cam. You guys obviously get the interception uh, late with Colton, and then you guys have to quickly come back off on the field after the offense scored. You guys were on the field for 35 minutes, 69 plays. Did you guys, uh, the defense, just feel a little bit tired at that point of the game? Because kind of what happened on that last touchdown drive for them? <laughs> no, we, we work out, but uh, ain't no tired. It was just no excuse. It just, uh, it just made a play. It happened in football. 50 50 <coughs> ball, it went there where? And Amarion. And Amarion. And Terrell. And Terrell. Yeah. Lots yeah. of guys. Um, after you lose all those receivers, especially mm -hmm. those guys in the first half, mm -hmm. you guys are still able to fight back and, and, and put yourselves in a position to win that game. Mm -hmm. uh, it's really next man up, uh, honestly. And the guys that got in was able and ready to play. Uh, Draylon Miller uh, stepped up and do what he's supposed to do. Uh, Jordan O, he, he got in and do what he's supposed to do. And so overall, it's, it's a machine. We got to keep going no matter what. Matt, go ahead. Hey, Cam, coming into the game, you knew what the quarterback was capable of on the ground. You knew they wanted to rush the ball. It seemed like you guys were having trouble early until you kind of, like, held up there at the end. Did something change there in your approach? No, I was just uh, waking up. I mean, uh, we can't. It, it's one thing to practice it and one thing to see it in person. I mean, he's a phenomenal scrambler, getting out of the pocket guy. Um, we just really just dialed in and um, locked in. I mean, coming off the bye week, we expected to start off. Uh, we didn't expect to start off a little slow, but that just happens. So we just really just nailed down and did what we had to do. Um, come, we had learned them to get to it. Following up on that, Coach Prime talked about the lack of just maybe some missed tackles tonight. Mm -hmm. Talk about DJ Diddens, their running back. Is, I mean, is it missed tackles or does he have a lot to do with that? Um, I mean, uh, I'm going to give the guy credit when do. I mean, he, he balled out. He had a great game against his um, good, a good, um, great, a good back in his um, league. I mean, did what he had to do. Um, we we have to tackle belly, yes, but um, I give credit to that guy. Adam, go ahead. Adam, Mr. Tiger, 24-7 Sports. We, we saw the offense be a little bit more balanced in, in, in the past couple games. From your vantage point, what was kind of the issue just in terms of not being able to run the ball tonight? Uh, it, it, it was a, when you're behind, you can't really run the ball like that, you know, because then you're wasting time off the clock, man. Um, it, it's really tough, and, and they did a great job scheme-wise to make it difficult, you know, to run the ball in those situations. Um, so, that, so that's really the thing. Like you, when, when it's an even game and when you're not behind, and it's it's real easier to run the ball. But when you're behind, you got to throw your way out of it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hey, question for you. You and Cam. What do you guys do on your off day? You, you get with the coach. How you, how do you guys uh, reset your bodies to get ready for the next week? I mean, everybody does their own personal thing, and then we come up here and, of course, meet with coaches and uh, watch the film. But uh, overall, the off days is, is, is where you get your massage, where you get everything, like take care of your body, specifically on what you need. Same, same thing, off days, um, do handle your business. and You be more uh, focused on football mentally than physically on off days. Yeah, Brian, go ahead. Uh, this for both of you guys. Uh, this was, again, a lot was talked about. This was an opportunity for you guys to make a statement tonight against one of the better teams in this conference in the country. Even in a loss, can you guys take that and say you still made a somewhat of a statement tonight? Yeah, we made a statement that we lost. <laughs> that was the statement that we lost. <laughs> no, no we, way you lost. You feel like you can still say No, we don't. We, it's no, a, it's a not loss. 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 loss is a loss. You know, yeah. like, if you take a loss, it's a loss. Yeah. You can't get that back. You know, I know, so. we, I know you lost, but no. There's no buzz. You take just got to get better. Jacob Thompson, Ralph Airport. Uh, Cam, seven tackles tonight. Uh, Sean Lee, also has seven. What does having him back mean to you guys? I mean a lot. I mean a lot. This is a guy I played a whole lot of snaps with. I'm very comfortable with um, two ends back there with me. So it meant a lot to have him back. Um, I was able to, um, to only control, only had to worry about my half of the field. He had, he had his half of the field. So it was great to have him back. Shador, they were sending a lot of pressure at you, but it felt like they were also doing a really good job of keeping you contained, not letting you escape like you had in the past few weeks. Was there something schematically that they were doing that kind of kept you from being able to run around like you have in the past couple games? Uh, they're just a disciplined team. They just did their job. That's it. I'm sure every other team, you know, their job is to keep contained, but they they uh, just did what their coach told them to do. Yeah. You all feel like you guys probably should have won that game based off that, that last play. Do you feel like that's that kind of thing that's going out on home? Well, no, whatever the ref call, he called. You know, <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> uh, the call wasn't passing the so it's okay. We just got to move forward and, okay, assess what we did wrong. And, 
go into the next week and fix those things. Good, good senior quarterback answer. Go ahead, Scott. Shador Scott Proctor of Colorado. I know you've got a good relationship with, with Coach Shermer. I'm curious kind of what your kind of in-game interactions with him were like, and I, you know, too, kind of when he's in your ear, you know, before the, uh, the mic sounds off. Like, what are your interactions with him? Kind of yeah, I mean, I can't really disclose too much, you know, what he's yeah, telling yeah. in my ear, but uh, great relationship. Uh, we get we get to the sideline. We understand. Okay, what what I'm seeing, what he's seeing. We get on the iPad. We talk through everything. Um, other than that, everything's good. Jack, go ahead. Um, for Cam, the interceptor from Colton Hood there, late. Just what was it like for you seeing a you know younger guy come up with a big play? Well, it was wonderful. I mean, um, Colton Hood works his butt work, works his butt off. I mean, he could he could start for us, and, um, but he's he he doesn't. So um, I appreciate the guy. He come to um, come to work every day and works his butt off, and. Um, He's never a negative guy. I mean, I know he feels like he should be playing more, but he, he doesn't. He doesn't never say nothing about. It. He just goes out and handles his business. So I'm extremely proud of. Him. Last one, Matt. Go ahead. Shador, overall, you know, you're your hardest critic, I'm sure. Can you just evaluate how you played tonight? Maybe. Was I? I like? Played I. There's definitely some sacks. You know, I can. Shouldn't have took definitely some reads. You know, I gotta make. Uh, so overall, we didn't get the result that we wanted. So of course, as a quarterback, that's gonna go on you. So I just gotta assess, uh, watch the film, and see, you know, where I can improve. Then, because I don't think anybody ever plays a perfect game, especially how I played today. It wasn't perfect at all. So, yeah, just go back, watch the film. One follow up to that: everything is still in front of you guys here. Do you, does it does it feel like that? And do you kind of approach this next week with that mentality that you know it's it's one game here? You, yeah, you go. You approach every week the same. I mean, uh, win or lose. Um, if if you have a change a week or your routine up every week, that means your you ain't trust your routine from the beginning. So just uh, the win or lose, we come back and do the same thing we do every week. Yeah, I don't think we just gotta you know uh, think about this loss for a little bit. Definitely twenty four hours. Wins loss, we gotta do that. So we that's the thing. Watch the film. See what we got. We have to get better at check on the injuries with all the receivers because that's tough. I never thought four receivers would get injured in one game. That's just ridiculous. But things happen, life happens, so we just got to roll with it and do what we got to do for next week. All right, thanks, guys. Thanks. Appreciate it.